and welcome back to Talk of Alabama this gorgeous Wednesday morning. We are in the Mazer kitchen this morning with Hal and Ty from Tostadas located in Homewood. They are brand new and uh, we're making some Tex-Mex today kind of Tostadas. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. How are you guys doing and what, uh, how'd this all start? How are you? I, well, it kind of is just a play on Tex-Mex. So um, I used to be a sales rep for food and it, in the spot that we're in now opened up. Yeah. And it was just one of those things. My wife and I were praying about an opportunity, yeah. and uh, they were like, "Hey, you want to come in this spot?" So we came up with came up with the concept, and we're here. So, so you're open <laughs> every day but Sunday. Every day but Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you've got how many different things on your menu? Uh, quite a few on there. Quite a few in the menu. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's, it's it's kind of a uh, so the menu is one page, so it's not too big, but you can get a lot of options. So Looking we're at. we're playing on these tostadas you'll get to try this morning. Um, it's basically a flat taco. Okay. We do different things. Like he'll have a more traditional one this morning with chorizo, refried beans, a fried egg, and some pico de gallo. Yeah. But then we'll have a unique one that he's about to make for you now, which is his house-made pimento cheese. Um, it's house-made jalapeno pimento cheese yeah. with a uh, grilled connected sausage that I grilled to dice. I'm just warming up in here in this top with wiffle pickles. Aha, uh -huh. okay, well let's start the recipe. Okay. Got the heat going. Mm -hmm. Do that. And, um, while this is warming up, okay. I'm Lying going to pop. Okay, here? Uh, no, not really. Okay, we're going to pop. Pop in here and melt the cheese on it. Okay, got you. So, new restaurant, what was your official opening date? We actually opened, so we're a Mexican restaurant, we opened the 6th of May. <laughs> oh, Day after Cinco de Mayo, right? Day after right? Cinco de Mayo, yes ma'am. Okay, the 6th of May, so how has it been received so far? So far, so good. It's a... Um, you know, again, it's a little bit different. We, on the bottom of the menu, we have a few of your normal Mexican food, you know, quesadillas, fajitas, things like that. But people are liking the different tostadas because the variety. Like the one he's about to make with the Koneka sausage. And then we've got one with smoked barbecue. We have one with catfish. So people are liking to be able to come in and try different ones each time. Yes, different options uh -huh. every time. What is your favorite? What's your favorite? My favorite is the, my favorite is the hokey pokey, which is grilled tuna, seared tuna with uh, different types of vegetables sauteed with together. And I have this hokey pokey sauce that I make and this top of that and wasabi mayo and wontons on top of it. Oh, that sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so you're making up the sausage hills, mm -hmm. grilling this up. And, we, and it's called the Southern Stack just because everything here is basically from Alabama. So you've got the Koneka sausage and then we've got the Wickles pickles from Dadeville and then Ties pimento cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Ty, how long have you been cooking? Uh, ooh, I've been cooking for over 20 years. What brought you to it? What What made you fall in love with it? Um, I was just watching my mom and my grandmother cook, and I learned a lot from them. Yes. And just been going on with it. So now every holiday they expect you to cook, right? That's right. Every holiday. <laughs> them, family, everybody. Yes. Well, that's good to have that kind of talent for sure. He had his 20-year reunion, and they made him cook for the reunion. Yeah, so too. I had to cook no. for my high school reunion. You got to tell them to outsource yeah. that, so you can enjoy your oh, reunion. I, 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 I like cooking for everybody, and it was fun doing it. It was tiring, but it was fun. Oh, this looks delicious. Okay, we're gonna give you guys a quick little break. Do you mm -hmm. want to show? Uh oh, I think we over melted it. Oh yes, it did. That's okay. We can clean that, no problem. Get, a little cheese. That's basically how. You, that's how actually would, how it comes out. So the yeah. cheese is melting. How on would it. how you would want it to look? Oh, it's how. Okay, perfect then. Look at that goodness. And then you're gonna put. Is, do you eat that alone, or do you put something on I'll top? I put of the it? sausage on top of this. Okay. I'll let, do you want to finish that, or do you want to yeah. come back can, and do that? I can finish it right now. It's not good. Okay. Oh my heavens, cheese and meat. And then the secret weapon, <laughs> which a lot of people are weirded out with, but when you try it, it's really good, are the, uh, the Wickles pickles that he'll throw on top. Oh, that's a meal all right. It is, and then these, each tostada comes with a side of street corn and um, it, you call them cheesy pintos. They're like refried beans yes. blended with cheese, so. Ooh, look at that, Ty's on fire. Yeah. That looks delicious. Do you guys cater as well? We do, yes, yes ma'am. Okay, that's a good option too. So again, you can pop in there. If you uh, don't have time, then get it to go, right? Absolutely, mm -hmm. huh? Okay, when we come back, what are we gonna work on? I'm gonna work on a, it's our like version of huevos rancheros. It's uh, getting refried beans, shredded Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese, um, fresh avocado slices. Yes. 
fried egg and pico de gallo on top. Ooh. It's brand new. It's just actually going on our updated menu tomorrow. So. Okay, well, we can't wait. In 20 mm -hmm. minutes, we'll get to see that recipe. So keep it right here on ABC 3340. Thank you, gentlemen. You Thank are. you. Bye. Don't go anywhere at home. A local theater company is gearing up for an upcoming production of Matilda the Musical. We've got all the details for you. Stay with us.